I have a previous marriage. Um, I was married to United Methodist minister, and that's long before I became Catholic. And uh, then I met my husband and married, and we have um, a daughter. So when I came into the Catholic Church, um, I had to have an annulment. And I didn't realize this would be, you know, a big deal. And I remember talking to the priest, and I thought the big deal would be, like, how do I how do I accept Mary, you know, and what the church teaches about Mary? And he's like, well, we don't, because I said I, I could never worship Mary. And he said, well, we will never ask you to because she's not divine. She's not Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Um, she's the mother of our Lord. But then he said, um, we do need to address this obstacle of a first marriage. And I, I felt like the the air was sucked out of the room. Because it's like, uh, um, it had been a, a troubled marriage from the beginning. I married very young. I had only been 18 one month. And he was very young also. And I didn't want to go back over that. It was like, I don't know if, if you know the, the mythology, the Pandora's box, where, um, Pandora opens up the box and lets out all these terrible things in the world, you know, famine, despair, and all kinds of things. Um, and I thought it would be like that. But it, when when Pandora gets to the bottom of it, um, the last thing in the box is hope. And I think the annulment process is a little like that, um, because at first it seems like you're going to open up this this terrible part of your life and have to go back and relive it. And in truth, you do have to go over some tough terrain of your past. Um, and you, you do have to really look at yourself and who you were when you married this person. And it's not so much, uh, it's not like our American, American society is like, well, who's, who was at fault? Well, he did this and she did that. And there's blame. And then like, oh, then the divorce makes sense. It's not that. It's who was I? Was I ready for a sacrament? Was I ready to present myself to another human being and make the, the lifelong promise uh, and vows? Was he ready? Um, because we know God is faithful. But was I ready? Was he ready? And in doing that, you start to look at yourself. And that's the one thing that divorce doesn't do. So divorce doesn't do that. Divorce is looking at the other person, blaming the other person. But I'm looking at myself, and I'm realizing I had things that needed to be healed. I had things that weren't right. I wasn't ready to to make this the sacrament. Um, and then when you come out the other end, and you receive you know word that your marriage was not a sacrament. And your, your current marriage can be blessed by the church or convalidated by the church. The joy is, you, you don't expect it because you're on the journey to become Catholic and you're expecting with a great anticipation receiving the Eucharist. You're expecting with great anticipation coming into the church and receiving the sacramental life of the church and confession the first time you can hear the words of absolution and, and all of that. But you're not expecting marital grace to show up in this marriage that you're in. And you're not expecting to be healed of this past um, civil union, really is how you look at it, and how to be healed and be able to have a successful marriage. And I remember the, the thought, because I, I received word in the, in the the mail. I don't that was 17 years ago. So I don't know how they let you know today that your annulment. Um, is granted, but I received a letter. My husband was um, cutting grass. We had um, an, a small acreage, and so he's working out on the acreage. And and so I walked to him, and he was not coming to the church when I came in. He came in two years later, and he had no intention at this time of coming in. But I walked out to him, and I showed him the letter. And I was filled with joy because I knew I could come to the church. I knew I could receive the Eucharist. But I didn't expect what I saw in him. And there was a certain look on his face that, in God's eyes, I'd never been married before. 
And that was amazing. That in, in God's eyes, and I could read it in my husband's eyes, that this was the marriage God saw. And marital grace has just shown up at all the most important times. So I, I think what I would say to somebody who, who's facing an ailment, I think the first thing I would say is it's not going to be easy. And I think it's wrong for us to say, oh, it's going to be so healing. The first thing we need to say is it's not going to be easy, but it is going to be healing, as healing things so often are a little bit painful. But you will be better for having come through it, and you will have a sacramental marriage on the other end of it. And that is worth it all.